President John Adams, former minister to France, Charles C. Pickney, former U.S. Senator Aaron Burr, Vice President Thomas Jefferson, Because each state could choose its own election day in 1800, voting lasted from April to October. Under the United States Constitution, as it then stood, each elector cast two votes, and the candidate with a majority of the votes was elected president, with the vice presidency going to the runner-up. Federalist candidate John Adams received 25,952 popular votes. Democratic-Republican candidate Thomas Jefferson received 41,000 330 popular votes. Federalist John Jay received one electoral vote. Federalist Charles Cotsworth Pickney received 64 electoral votes. Federalist John Adams received 65 electoral votes. Democratic Republican Thomas Jefferson and Aaron Burr both received 73 votes. Because of the tie, the House of Representatives would each cast one vote in their own contingent election. So in February 1801, the members of the House of Representatives balloted as states to determine whether Jefferson or Burr would become president. There were 16 states, each with one vote, an absolute majority of nine was required for victory. Thomas Jefferson won this contingent election with 10 votes to Aaron Burr's four votes.